Good morning, everyone. What does Facebook, squirrels, and today's build have in common? Stick around to find out. This build was a lot of fun. It certainly isn't what I would call a success, but I think you'll enjoy it. So what does this build have to do with Facebook? It's really simple. Once a month, I'm going to try something new on my Facebook and see how it works out. I'm going to ask for a suggestion, an off-the-wall build, something that can be built quickly, something I can do in a day, and whosoever suggestion I pick and build is going to get a small prize. Uh, Phil Collier was this month's winner, and I'm sending him a long nose pattern marker from FastCap. Extremely handy. I love these things, and I think once you use one, Phil, you will never go back. And then I'm also sending him some trackpad, and the reason I'm sending him this is because it's, I'm going to be using this in an upcoming build, and this will be a handy to have if you decide you want to make one. So, this was not a complete success. This was an acorn picker upper that I wanted to also sweep the driveways and also be able to pick up leaves, and I used a, some gear increase ratios to get that the brush spinning. I, I, I got it spinning too fast. <laughs> so, this is how I build it, and then I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it when it's done. I got the gears cut and I'm kind of laying them out to see where they're going to mesh the best. You know, this is just a, a real basic speed increase or a rotation increase system here. Uh, two big gears, two small gears, and um, get everything figured out here. Now, this is not something that hasn't been done before. They make those, uh, you know, sweepers that you can buy that you can push and have the broom on them. But this has definitely got some really serious cool factor with the wooden gears and being a wooden housing. So this is really kind of a fun build.
All right, let's go talk about all the things I did wrong. <laughs> But while this thing did not do a super sufficient job of picking up all the acorn caps, it did do a pretty good job of picking up the vast majority of them. And um, I had to make a couple passes to make this, you know, to pick up the ones that I had left behind. And it tended to float over the top of them. And the mistake I made was making the base way too close to the bottom of the wheel. I needed a little more height. So the first thing I did wrong was definitely I mounted the base, I mounted this carriage way too low. Uh, once I got into taller grass, it was floating right across the top of it, and that was, you know, pulling the wheel up so it wasn't turning. The other thing I did is I geared this too high, the torque on this was too great, and it made it difficult to go through wet grass or taller grass. Uh, and also, it was making these brushes spin so fast that I was taking some of these acorn cats when I didn't have this on here, and it was literally, they were hitting me in the face and chest and spinning way over my shoulders. So a bag system would be, would be really good on this. I need to reduce the speed on this. And when originally when I thought about building this, I was, I was thinking just one large gear on the, on the drive wheel and of one small gear on the brushes, and that's it. And that's what I should have done. And that's probably what I'll do in the next one, either that or some kind of belt system. Now with this right here, the rotation's way too fast. And then with the bottom here, the way I've got this, the, the bottom where it actually attacks the ground, I'm going to put some kind of a comb system so it actually combs through the grass and then it'll be able to pick up leaves and things a lot better. So you guys will see that in an upcoming build. Definitely haven't seen the last of the, uh, we'll call it the Swanomatic. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this if you know somebody who could use something like this. And then also, Check out my Facebook if you want to be part of next month's uh, build challenge. And uh, if you pick your challenge, I'll send you something cool. Talk to you later.